Welcome back everybody to Rimmon. So today I've got a whole bunch of different things people have been throwing at me over the past sort of couple of days over on Discord, over in the comment section as well for, for mod suggestions that would fit nicely into the playthrough we've got going on right now. So from the top, I'll just quickly explain why I've got all of them as well. Some of these might not seem to make much sense at first. So at the top, I've added hospitality. For those of you who don't know what hospitality is, it essentially allows people to come and visit your colony, stay with you for a couple of days, you can try and recruit them as well. That's the big important thing because we're not going to get much opportunity to do that. Now what I'd like to try and do today is turn our base into a a sort of safe haven, kind of like a promised land for any survivors out there in the world to come and stay with us in safety and trade with us and whatever else. So there's a couple of other mods along with hospitality that sort of plans that quite nicely. First one is a mod called Mercenaries for me, which basically allows us to hire mercenary groups. It also adds the ability to have static guard stations, so you can set specific characters to uh, essentially be a, be a town guard, which will obviously be very, very nice if we've got an open entrance area. Zombies will be able to freely walk in, and there's no real way to get around that because of course we want visitors to be able to get in as well so we're going to need people on guard for that one thing i thought as well having such a small area we're gonna have so many people that just don't have jobs if we try and save everybody if we try and recruit everyone so having dedicated town guards in a zombie apocalypse scenario just makes perfect sense we've got uh simple search bar and filter normally i use uh rimworld search agency but i know it is a, a little bit of a heavier mod than the simple search bar mod plus it it, it sort of categorizes things quite nicely as well so i'm going to try that one out just for a change really we've got cybernet and Glitternet. Both of these are very end game stuff. Allows you to sort of maximize, uh, well, play tall is probably the right way to phrase it. So, you know, kind of like strategy game concept. Uh, making the most out of what little you've got. And we have little resource, we have little characters. So Cybernet and Glitternet will give us nice little bonuses to a smaller colony size. We've also got Rentes that's reloaded. As I've said over the past couple of episodes, we've had a few issues with, uh, People going berserk in the prison and then escaping. I've tried the anesthetic gun mod, but I think tasers actually makes a lot more thematic sense and does kind of make just more sense overall. You wouldn't sit there and fire five or six, you know, anesthetic shots into your prisoners where we could just taser them and move them back to bed. I think there are some issues with it as well. Um, like, for example, downsides to it. I don't mean, like, issues with the mod there. We've got fences. We've got vanilla masking that makes certain uh, vanilla objects look a little bit nicer. We've got wiki rim, which allows us to look up things about particular... Say, we might rec we not might not recognize an animal from a mod. We want to find out how much leather it gives or some shit like that we can quickly find that out uh, just at a glance essentially adrenaline mod is a pretty good one uh that was suggested so for example if you're being chased by 15 zombies your adrenaline's going to increase and you're going to be able to move quicker for a short amount of time i assume there are drawbacks associated with that as well i've done a huge amount of research into all of these one that looks very very cool i won't go over all of these because there's actually quite a lot gear up and go smart medicine weaponry combat extended shields barbed wire porn education those are all very straightforward and very, obviously very self-explanatory the weaponry mod sounds very cool and that's fully compatible with combat extended so that will allow us to craft custom weaponry depending on the scenario so i'm very excited to try that one i've actually not heard of that one before today the goal is exactly that i want to get a nice little safe haven colony base set up in the middle of this zombie apocalypse we're going to try and open up this main road here turn this into a main entrance with you know guard posts turrets whatever else uh sort of choke holds maybe an emergency shutdown area i don't know if there's a way to have auto doors held open permanently and then maybe a switch closer to the base that we could flick and close them all down or something like that but if there is a way to do that that's what i'm going to be sort of researching oh you can see the better vanilla masking there sort of makes um rather than it all being you might remember the, the base game workbench actually looks like that it actually gives it a bit more texture it, it's a minor minor graphics change but it is kind of nice nonetheless so one thing we do have is uh, gear up and go which means we can set specific outfits then if we want to go and gear up they'll go and grab whatever they've got nearby that is uh that is more powerful than what they've got equipped so for example on the way out they might grab some power armor or they might grab a plastic hammer or something but i want to restrict it so that they're wearing very little right now combat extended adds that kind of crazy bulk mechanic to things so we have to be somewhat careful about well, obviously there's bulk and mass we have to be somewhat careful about how much we're carrying so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up some outfits which are just sort of bare minimum t-shirt hat duster you know trousers whatever else and then when we need the more combat gear we can just gear up and go and grab all this shit anyway so why don't we quickly go ahead and set up i guess just worker would do it right um yeah, that, that's sort of pretty set up to be exactly what we need then. So let's go for workers for the time being. And then hopefully, in theory, when we want to gear up and go, these guys can very quickly drop their shit and just, just go about their business, essentially. Let's see if that works. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and allow all. Let's take off that flak jacket. I don't know why a worker is allowed to wear a flak jacket, but that's also very, very heavy. Right, there we go. Um, oh, is he just going to immediately... Oh, he's going to drop his, his, drop his, drop his trowel too. Um, are we going to... Are you going to put on any more trousers, or are we, are we, I might force him to wear some trousers then, because that seems a little bit odd otherwise, I'm going to be honest. Uh, there you go, my friend, at least wear something. Right, so what we can do then, I believe, is if we can say gear up and go, we'll go and grab, there you go. Uh, oh, did that even work? 
taking simple meal. Okay, he's gonna grab a meal first, and then what? Uh, nothing. How does this- I, I- I was under the assumption that all we did was sort of roughly something like that in the area. You know what, I'll work out how it works as we play today. It's not- it's not hugely essential right now, huh? If we do get a raid turn up or something like that, we can very quickly just equip this shit anyway. We've got a discount on, um, our next mercenary order. Thank you very much. I don't really care too much about that. Now, one thing that did happen while I was setting up for today's episode is we've had a summit crab spawn. So, summit crabs are these gigantic, um, well, you can sort of see the- the path of destruction that's left already. They are gigantic boulder mitts. And when they get close to an area, they'll just immediately start dealing passive damage to everything around them. So you can sort of see where it's moved through. It's spawned in down here. It's moved up here, annihilated this building entirely, moved up through into this one and annihilated this building entirely. So if we keep close on the damn thing, it's just going to keep moving in a direction and everything nearby is going to get absolutely destroyed. See there, there are walls collapsing. We're going to have roofs collapsing as well, things like that. The concern with this is if he heads straight for our base and batters down our walls. Because these things are also very, very difficult to kill. And if we stand in front of it, it will just, it will crush you and instantly kill you. Now, the zombies are probably going to have a hard time if they do try and fight that. Because they're going to get annihilated. I'm kind of interested to see how they react to it. They move very, very slowly. So if it does start getting kind of dangerously close to our base, we can react to that accordingly. Are they going to attack it? Um... No, but you kind of saw the way that that thing ran past then. It would have taken passive damage. Um... Does it even say? Adrenaline rush intense. Oh, shit. Oh, it affects manhunting animals, too? Oh, my God. Okay, that could be uh, a hell of a difficulty spike then. I don't know how the zombies work. I have no idea how they've uh, how, how the developer has coded this. I'll have to take a look at some stage, but I don't know if they'll be affected by by health concerns. I don't think they are, because I don't think they're treated as, as regular sort of animals or colonists or anything like that. Let's take a look. Um, but, yeah, this is, uh, as you can see, somewhat dangerous. I'm kind of shitting it a little bit. Sorry, Rick. I've had you basically squatted up the entire day here. Um, it's coming straight for our wall, isn't it? This fucking thing's gonna come straight for our wall. Um, <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Uh, Lynn, you might want to squat up, mate, because our walls are gonna collapse in no time whatsoever here. Um, what have we got? We got another weapon? We got another weapon somewhere? Uh, charge shotgun is, is got iron shells in it, so that's completely useless against a gigantic rock crab. Um... What ammo have we got? That's the important thing here. We've got rifle ammo. We've got a little bit of rifle ammo there. We've got machine gun ammo. We've got, uh, .40 SW cartridge. That's what this one... Oh, no, wait. What is .40 SW cartridge? Please, I'm not American. Help me out here. Um, okay. You know what? Just grab... Look, we know we've got ammo for this thing. It, it uses... Oh, not even rifle ammo. The service rifle doesn't use rifle ammo. Okay, cool. Um, shit. All right. Just, just grab... Just see if there's any bullets in it already, for God's sake. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. It'll do. Is it still coming straight for our walls? Oh my god, mercenaries as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Autonomous League of East Eula paid a high price for a US... USFM mercenary squad to annihilate you. Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me? That's five people. Five highly trained mercenaries. Oh, shit. All in power armor. What are these guns exactly? Charge LMG. That one's got a sword. That one's got a sword. That one's got uh, an incendiary. Is that an incendiary one? Uh, no, it's an HMG. Okay. Um, fuck. I didn't know this mod would work against us. I'm going to be frank with you. I didn't know this would work against us and we'd end up getting... Maybe the zombies will deal with them. You know, maybe maybe the zombies will kill them. The zombies will do nothing to those guys. They're in full power armor. Um, can you can you not? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give it a few more seconds to see if it will get a little closer to the base. It's, it's heading right for us, isn't it? Right, take him down. Legolas. Bring him down. For the love of God, don't let this thing take our walls out. Summit Crab Revenge. I'll take it. I'll take that. Let's piss off. Let's let it fight the zombies. Let's let it fight those NPCs that turned up. What are they going to do? We we'll need to keep a very close eye on these guys. You know what? Just go about your business. Go and live your life. Let's make sure these guys are in high mood before we have to deal with, uh, before we have to deal with whatever the fuck is about to turn up on our base, huh? Um, maybe the... I don't know, maybe the, the Ion Shotgun might work against the guys in power armor. We've got this one that has no ammo in it. This one has a little bit of ammo. Um, I don't I don't know how the hell we're going to survive this. I have no idea how the hell we're going to survive this. Okay, come grab your power armor. Honestly, Rick, just, just grab the power armor. I'm, I'm going to force force him to wear this for the time being. So it's kind of worked. It's It's gone Manhunter and now it's heading after the zombies, but it's walking so close to our walls, it's just annihilating them. Oh my god. All of our embrasures have gone in the drop of a hat. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, let's hope that the Summit Crab survives and stays... Oh, wait. This is a siege. So they're gonna mortar us. Oh, good. 
Um, apparently, mortars in combat extended are quite inaccurate unless you're using a spotter. So someone with, with binoculars, something like that, to be able to see the base that they're shooting at. So hopefully these guys are just going to fuck it up and miss. Um, okay, Mega Sloth Revenge. We've got Thermodon Revenge. I think these guys are going to get picked off by zombies, or at least I'm certainly... Or, or just the wildlife or anything like that. Oh, God. Wait. What are they, what are they being powered by? Um, do you need power for mortars? I feel like I'm going insane. Oh, God. Please miss. Please miss. You guys told me that these things are inaccurate. If, you, if you've lied to me, I'm going to be very sad. Um, what the fuck are they doing? They, they're not firing. The mortars can't fire. Okay. Okay, I don't know why they can't fire. Maybe that is a combat extended change then. But that is great news that they can't hit us. Um... Do we want to go and close up that hole in our walls? What's this summit crab just going around killing every single zombie on the map? Look, they're just running into it and, uh, oh, it, it's gone off a Mad Hunter now, which is kind of a shame. They're just running at it and immediately dying because of the amount of passive damage it does. Unbelievable. I hope it doesn't leave the map because I was kind of banking on you to take out those raiders. No, come back. Come back. Obviously not to close to our base. Come back, but turn around and go completely the opposite way if you don't mind. We've had a prison break. Why have we had a prison break, you might ask? Because some twat once again left rice in front of the goddamn door. Um, you guys pointed out that apparently yesterday I did let some of the ambrosia get destroyed. So I'm going to very quickly uh, remove those areas so we don't lose the ambrosia. There we go. Um, okay, fantastic. So once again, we've got a very easily avoidable prison break. Fantastic. Oh, we've got those grenades. Right, okay. So this is another comment I saw yesterday. Someone said if the grenades are so overpowered, at least you've got a stack of grenades now. That's very true. We should be good. Um, how much ammo is in this gun? So absolutely nothing. Okay. Uh, that one's got concentrated charge in it, but I feel like... I feel like this we need to save for an emergency situation. Um, grab the wrench. Let's just let's try and take him down with with a melee weapon rather than killing him again. Right, there we go. Okay. Capture him. That's just going to be a bunch of bruises. That's, that's certainly not going to kill him, right? At least I certainly hope not. Let's get these walls patched up as well because you know the zombies do like sort of uh, congregating in this area. Thank God that the uh, that the summit crab has taken those guys out. The fuck? Get, all right, get back to your prison for the love of God. Right. Get this Get this hauled. Haul that rice and then go ahead and arrest Mauer again? Come on, take him down, please, for the love of God. Thank God I cooked him with this wrench, though, rather than having to kill him all again. I'll take him down with another gun. We've only got high-powered rifles, which is kind of unfortunate for our sailors that try and... Our sailors? Our prisoners that try and go on a... On a rampage here. Right, there we go. Are you alright? Bleeding out in eight hours. Okay, so... It was that... This is pr police brutality right there. What's reasonable force against an escaped prisoner? I know, I'm gonna bash their leg clean off with a wrench. Just over and over and over and over. He's just swinging. Swinging for about 10 minutes solid. Cutting through his leg with a wrench. Rick. Rick Crimes. Aptly named Psychopath. Complete fucking lunatic. What is wrong with you? Okay. Well, I've set both of them as well to uh, to, to be able to doctor. What I need to do is actually change both their loadouts using Comic Extended to, to have them... Um, I'm going to change them both to like... I mean, we need to set it to guns. That would be the main thing, right? So, I, I mean, I've set it to specific people, but it doesn't really work because we don't have any ammo right now. The the loadouts work fine per person when you have enough ammo, but when we're just swapping guns every 30 seconds, I think I should really just say nothing. Um, otherwise, when we try and equip them with anything else, they just immediately throw it on the floor. And then have them have a set amount of medicine. So if we say medicine and meal, I think then we can force them to equip, you know, guns and armor and things. I'll have to test that in a second. Fuck's sake, okay. Um, and how, how is he doing? Bleeding out in... Oh, he's fine. Okay. Funnily enough, he destroyed his thumb, but that's kind of understandable. That 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 is acceptable force to use. Bashing off his entire fucking leg is psychopathy. Psych psychopathy. You're a madman, is what I'm getting at. Uh, Lynn, if you could also get to work on that as well. We're not using medicine on them, because I can't guarantee these guys are going to survive, and I can't guarantee they're not just going to go on another prison break. Right, okay, the walls are back together. Thank you, Lynn, much appreciated. What are we looking at in terms of this raid, then? They're just sort of standing around menacingly. Okay. Um, again, I'm hoping that uh, a zombie horde or something will have, like, a berserk animal, anything along those lines, go and take him down. They're not threatening us right now, so I think we'll just live our life. Let's just ignore him and get on with the regular scheduled stuff. Excuse me, sir. Where, where are my frames? Uh, what is- Oh, oh, god. The fucking frame rate is completely gone. What is happening? Look at this. Okay, uh, is it those troublemaking mercenaries? What is- what's going on? Okay, let's have a look around the map. Um... We've got zombies fighting gigantalopes. Well, that should be fine. Uh, why n Why now? What has changed? Something, something spawned in that's fucking this... Oh my god! What the fuck is going on? <laughs> um, well, I don't know what the fuck that was, but holy shit. Um, well, I guess some bullets appeared in the corner of the map. 
Well, that was fun. Hooray! Bullets for everyone. Uh, except, especially that grammar. How the hell did you survive that, my man? Completely fine. Absolutely, completely fine. My god, he's the chosen one. Huh, well that was interesting. Uh, anyway, so, so what I've been doing, um, you know, that I thought I wouldn't point out because it's completely fucking banal, but we've been building up the uh, prison so it's a little less war crimes and a little more you might want to join us at some stage because right now we're trying to build an entire colony with, with only two people, both of which are very... It's doing it again. Very w much mediocre. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god! What the fuck is going on? Run, ground runner! I, I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm looking at. Well, it's it's slowly disappearing. Um. Oh my fucking lord. This is cursed. Truly cursed Rimworld. Uh I feel like I feel like one of those mods I installed have a. Uh, is it these guys? Are they like mortaring the edge of the map? Or are the are the mortars fucked up or something? Uh they are firing. And what what are they, what are they using here? Mortar shells. I'm gonna go into death mode quickly and delete these mortars because I feel like there's something really fucked up going on with that. Huh? Um, let's get rid of let's get rid of these. Thank you. Okay. And not that they were using a shallow base anyway. So it's not as if we're, we're we're cheating here to try and fix the game uh, or make it easier for us. We're we're literally doing it to solve this fucking mess. Okay, we're good. Right. Okay. H hopefully that'll be the end of it. Uh, sieging. Oh, they're assaulting the colony. Maybe that was it. And there must be something going wrong with the mortar shells or the ballistics to do with that because they were all spawning in the corner here. Very weird. That was fun. Um, now you know what's not fun. This. We've now got to deal with six bloody Power Rangers turning up. Um, right. And we've only got... Okay, Rick. Rick Crimes. Rick Crimes. Grab yourself some frag grenades, my son. We are going to war. We are going to war. And oh my god, oh, I think we're going to get annihilated. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, right, because his loadout doesn't allow it. Okay, um... Uh, we'll set it to Rick, and I will allow him, uh, what if I just clear it all off? Can we then equip them? No, it just won't work. Um, oh, he does have one equipped, I think. What's, what's going on with that? Frag grenade, why is he, no, pick them all up, you weird man. Pick up frag grenades, if I say pick up all, do they go into his inventory? Okay, there we go. Um, right, let's drop this one. We got five frag grenades. Let's get your power armor. I'm sorry to interrupt your meal here, my man, but this is literally a life or death scenario. Get that. Can we wear the tactical vest and the backpack as well? I don't remember, but I think all of this is going to be important because we've got a lot of shit to carry here. Where are they? Are they close? <gasps> they're fighting something. What are they fighting? They're fighting zombies. Okay, well, obviously the zombies aren't going to go. I was going to say they're not going to slow them down, but my god, he's already downed. Oh shit. And what do you have there? Orbital bombardment grenade. Oh no. <laughs> Why are they all going down? Oh my god, they're shooting each other. They're trying to hit the zombies and they're hitting each other. Shit. Okay. Well, there's three of them down already, huh? Plus, that means a whole bunch of power armor and a whole bunch of shit for us as well. Very nice. Um, okay. That's a, that's a fantastic start. Rick, the cowboy hat looks fantastic. Not gonna lie, but let's also get ourselves some power armor. Let's, let's, go, and, let's go and squad up and let's make sure that we are fully equipped to take these guys down. Right, what ammo are we looking at here? Because we are really struggling for ammo at this stage. I need to start this stockpile as well to be able to see a bit more clearly. So we've got rifle ammo. We've got Soviet cartridges there. In fact, that fits in the uh, in, in this one here, right? Uh, 7.62 times 39. And those are, yeah, okay, cool. So we've got 40 bullets for the service rifle. We have, uh, obviously a musket and a flintlock pistol I'm not interested in whatsoever. But action rifle takes hollow points. So we could potentially use hollow points which are garbage against armor, aren't they? So let's not worry about that either. I think it's time to try and use the concentrated, uh, the concentrated rounds from the charge SMG. Hopefully we can set it to, ah, oh, single fire, nice, nice, nice. Okay, and we've also got the grenades in our inventory so we can just swap, swap out to those when they get close enough. But... If they're going to try and breach this wall here, they are in for a seriously bad time. Because that's where all of the zombies have started piling up again. You know, they're getting into fights again with these zombies. We might be okay. I almost want to send Rick to try and capture these people or at least strip them of their power armor while they're down. What is that they're wearing? Uh, just, a, just a random shirt, huh? I want to go and strip them while they're down so that the armor doesn't count as tainted. And I also want to make sure they are going to die, right? Death in 11 hours, death in 11 hours, death in 13 hours. Well, let's wait and see whether or not these guys get eaten by the zombies first. Wait for the coast to clear, and then we'll move in and try and strip those bodies. You no, know they're actually so distracted by the zombies, I think I'm just going to go for it. I think I'm just going to go for it. Rick, uh, firstly, work on that door so this area stops counting as outdoors. Right, now counts out. Okay, perfect. Let's sneak out through this door here. Wait, where are they? Okay, you know what? Change of plan. We're going to sneak out through here. 
We're going to dismantle like a wall. I, I love this secondary wall parallel to our base because it does give a sort of natural amount of cover. There is a hole in it there, though, that we could sneak through. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to uninstall it and then immediately... So let's just uninstall it and leave it there. Let's, let's forbid it and make sure no one can move it after that. Then, Rick, you are going to go and get us some fresh power armor. Uh, emphasis on fresh right now. What guns did they drop? Charge LMG and they have a whole bunch of charge shells. You know, I'm sending them both. I'm sending them both, because I don't think they get, one One of us is going to be able to carry it. Now, this is obviously very risky, because Lynn is more or less completely unarmored here. Let's make sure she's set to single fire, and let's make sure that these guys don't come back and clap our cheeks when we're trying to sneak up and grab this stuff. Right, okay, go, go, go. Rick, where's Lynn? Lynn, hurry up. Okay, uh, you strip. Strip that one. Lynn can come and wear this armor. There we go. Strip that one too. Do we want to try and capture them? We could try and capture them. Oh, their skills are pretty good. That one's skills in particular are very good. Um, what's it got? Good crafting, good shooting, good construction. I mean, that sounds like a victory to me. Um, in that case, Lynn, I'm going to get her to wear the power armor. And I'm going to get her to... Uh, okay, let's do, let's do that. Force wear power armor. Please hurry up. Please, please. Faster, faster. Latches back. Oh, fucking hell. I didn't even notice that. Um, oh, is there a reason we're not... Is there a reason we're not doing anything about that? Okay, attack. Um, get that. Nice. Kite him. Kite him. Nice. Oh, that was some good shit right there. Fleeing. Fleeing. Uh, cease fire. Cease fire. Cease fire. That worked incredibly well, huh? Unbelievable. Um, Latch is bleeding out 14 hours. My god, we might be able to capture a lot of these people then, huh? Uh, you're taking a long time to put the fucking power armor on, my man. Right, come and grab this one too. Let's get her equipped, that one. Uh, Rick, you are gonna capture him. No enclosed- Oh, shit, right. Okay, fair point. Um, in that case, we'll just put down a whole bunch of sleeping spots. This could be fantastic for the colony. This could be massive. Not only have we got a whole bunch of untainted power armor, which is, in, in combat extended, is pretty absurd, but we've got a whole bunch of prisoners, which I believe we can save. I mean, let's look at this. I mean, bleeding out in... Whoa, 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 is this a closed room? We could just capture them in here, uh, patch them up for the time being, and then transfer them over to the other one. That's a much better plan. I'm a genius. Sometimes I astound even myself. That'll do it. Okay. Right, let's go. Uh, this is obviously very, very dangerous because we are out in the open here. If a big old ragey zombie horde comes over, we are going to be screwed. Right, let's put all of these things down. Let's go uh, select all. Let's go for prisoners. Let's go medical. Let's say capture. Okay, strip him first because I'll forget to do that and then we'll have prisoners escaping in full power armor, which I feel like is a recipe for disaster. No, 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 um, no, 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 stop that, stop that, stop that, right, gotta remove those first. Right, Lynn, let's talk about this. Right, you go ahead and capture, and the safe, what do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? What's, what's wrong with this? Do they have to be counted as, what do you mean? No, oh, right, 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 because I'm closing these doors. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, right, there we go. Okay, try again, capture. Nothing. What the fuck do you mean? Have they got to claim all the walls as well? This is a, I suppose this is kind of a weird scenario, huh? The, the game probably um, isn't used to something like that. Let's try again. Right, this time... What do you mean? That's clearly enclosed. Otherwise, it wouldn't allow us to turn it into a prisoner room. No unreachable, unreserved... Oh! You know why? Probably because it's outside of the allowed area. It's probably because it's outside of the allowed area. Uh... There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. We'll give these guys uh, uh, just as much medical care as we can muster this early on. Uh, what I'm going to do then, who's the better medical? Nine point. Okay, definitely you. Start tending. Start tending. Then after that, we're going to immediately queue up. Uh, why, can't I, why can't I queue that up? Probably because she already will just by, just by default. Um, you go ahead and capture Latch. This could be fantastic. I mean, look at this. Two more sets of power armor. We didn't get any good guns out of it. Oh, there's another one. Fuck, Hercules. Uh, capture Hercules. My god, okay. Um, you're bleeding out 14 hours. Latch is bleeding out 13 hours. You're bleeding out in... Excuse me. Oh, is that person dead? Wait, Sar Sarai. Oh, bleeding out in 8 hours. We might be able to get all of these guys. We genuinely might be able to get every single one of them. This is big. Just keep an eye out for those zombies. Okay, there's one sort of kicking around there. Okay, not, not a big deal though. Just sort of a lone wanderer there. Not Just just random random chances leading him over to us. Right, how, how's it going, Len? Tending to... Okay, still tending to Zandy. Right, welcome, Hercules. Get him stripped. Don't let any prisoners have power armor. I feel like that's a recipe for disaster. Let's get all of this stuff hauled urgently. Let's get all of this stuff hauled urgently. And when Sarai's finished tending to them... Uh, so she is now... So, sorry. When Lynn is done tending to him... Okay, so what we're gonna do, delete that, and then, uh, remove... What else we got? We got a spare one there as well. Now we want to build more medical spots up here and transfer them over to the main prison. This is good. Uh, this is actually kind of unbelievable. I'm glad I started upgrading the prison now. We didn't get very far before all of that shit kicked off. But hey, uh, capture Zandi. Get him back to base. And when he's done that, we'll bring him back again. Uh, Zandi's gotten an infection. Fine. Not, nothing to worry about. <gasps> Zombies. Careful. Be very, very careful. Oh, there's another one being attacked by the whole horde. Okay. 
This is very dangerous. This is incredibly dangerous. Don't, don't, don't let me try and sell this to you as we are completely safe. We need to be very, very careful with how we deal with this. Right, how are we looking then? Um, okay, so she is still going well. Rick, what the fuck are you doing, my man? Uh, did he... I don't know. I don't know what the hell he did there. Right, let's uh, just go ahead and, and set it to fast. Let's go ahead and set it to fast. That way we can get this done a little bit quicker. I don't want to particularly watch him run back and forth five more times. Alright, there we go. Get that one to the... Okay, good, good, good. Uh, oh, fuck. Okay, this is going to get very dicey in terms of the medicine, but I feel like we should be okay. As long as we build on beds and stuff as well, no problem. Right, get rid of that one. Rick, come and capture Sarai. Uh, then we're just waiting on Hercules as well. What are you doing right now? Tending to latch. Okay, so Hercules is tended to. No? Who, who did you just tend to then? I have no clue. I guess she's just still working. And that's the last of it. Okay, so we've got them all back to base. Whether or not they're going to survive the infections is going to be very, very, very difficult. I feel like this could be a real problem, especially because the, the room is absolutely covered in shit. We've got 17 medicine. We've got 17 medicine, so it's, it's not completely unbelievable here. Now, as they count as mercenaries, what does that, how does that affect us? I don't know that it does. I, I don't know. Oh, shit, she's wearing power armor again, huh? Get that off. Hey, you tear that off. You're not allowed that. In case of, you know, more prison breaks. Of course, that would never happen. But just in case. Um, right, so let's uh, start cleaning up one of these rooms, huh? So uh, just clean this room. Both of you both of you work together to clean this fucking room. Because this is a state. Talk about infections. My lord. Um, and what have we got most of building blocks then? Because we are going to need some beds here. We've got 109 limestone. Uh, we've got 40... Okay, so, sorry. That wasn't 109 limestone, was it? What was that? Sandstone. Um, you've got 109 sandstone. What about in terms of wood? I, I can't see any wood at all, to be completely frank. Okay, very annoying. We've got lots of steel, but steel to use on bed seems like a massive, massive waste. Uh, let's sort of just take a look here. So, bed, I mean, sandstone. We might as well build out of what we can to start off with, huh? So, let's get a couple of these boys put down first. Um, so that's 45, so that's basically maxed out. We can't build any more now. We are going to have to build a couple out of steel then, unfortunately. We've got plenty of steel. It's not, it's not a big deal now that I think about it. Okay. Get this place tidied up as soon as possible. And then let's also, I might even force them to stay awake and work on the other stuff. Let's get this hole in the wall patched up. Oh man, I'd like to get the power armor. But honestly, that's still going to be there. That's, that's going to be there in a while. Don't worry about that right now. we got bigger fish to fry. Let's make sure all of these people survive rather than wasting time, you know, gathering power armor and whatnot. You're right, you... Okay, now we need to definitely work on this fucking wall, huh? Right, let's go and... Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me? Right, there we go. Right, Lynn, let's get you hauling that wall into place. Sorry, working on the wall blueprint. Boom. Okay, problem solved. And let's also get you very, 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 very quickly. Um, are these boys all set to... I mean... I'm gonna say higher medicine. I think the safest thing to do is say higher medicine, right? Um, if I set them... Uh, there's no way to set default in this. What mod was that I was using that let set default for prisoners? Because that was very useful. Right, let's go to all of you guys. Change you all over to this one. Have uh, they all been tended to as well? No, they've all got infections. Major infections here. Uh, 36%, 33% immunity. So you're definitely savable. You're fine. Um, uh, you are maybe not savable. Uh, 28%, 29% immunity. And 29 and 29. They are savable as long as we keep on top of the tending. As long as we keep on top of this tending, we should be fine. Let's, let's, let's actually go and do that right now, then. Um, Gigantelope Revenge. Don't really care about that too much. Thank you. Uh, Rick, what's wrong with you? Are you just hungry? You're hungry? You're sad? Bad hygiene, moderate? Go get yourself a wash. Uh, can't apparently wash in the well. What do you mean we can't wash in the well? Come on. All right, go in the bath. And let's get him working on the prison sort of toiletries, getting the room up together. I say toiletries. That's completely the wrong word. The, the facilities. Let's get the, uh, let's get some lights in the room as well. That would definitely help out a little bit. What else you got in your inventory that we can drop on the floor? Look at those fucking grenades, huh? Right. Um, let's quickly work on those. Because lights, it doesn't seem like much, but it will give them a nice little bit of a bonus there. The amount of food that we're gonna need now is pretty absurd. Is there, is there a good cook in here? Um, uh, 8.84. I'll take that one. Thank you. Uh, so we've got another good cook. That's fine. You know what? Two cooks is more than enough. Oh, this caravan is brave. This caravan is so brave. Look at them. They're trying to take out this entire... Like, like I've said, the zombies will will either seem to congregate towards our base or con but just basically wherever there's people, right? So it's either going to be our base or near the map edges where there are traders coming in. They might be okay here because they seem quite well equipped. What the hell is that? He's got a taser. I don't think a taser is particularly effective against zombies. I'll be completely frank with you. Dropping a bunch of smoke everywhere as well. I mean, if it, hey, if it works, you know what? I don't think the zombies really care too much about it, but if it works, it works. I think smoke is only for obscuring people's vision, right? To prevent them from being able to... Oh, there's a rage pack. Keep running, boys. 
I think that only stops people being able to shoot you and target you so easily, right? So that's probably a complete fucking waste of time, but hey. Um, so the, the latrine is done. Let's work on the fountain so they can get water and wash themselves. That's going to make a huge, huge difference to their to their lives over here. So they do still need water. Uh, we've been doing it by giving them meals. It does, does give a little bit of, uh, of thirst. Administering fluids as well when they are in bed. We can do... Um, is there a way to... We can wash them. We can feed them. Yeah, you sort of get what I'm getting out there. So they, they, there are ways of them having water, but... For for this many people, it's not going to be nearly as good. Oh, you fools. What are they doing? Did they just steal that po power armor? What? Oh, no. It's still down there. Okay, that's fine. I, I saw an empty building. I was like, did they just, just seriously take all that shit that I, I went and tried and saved earlier? Prison is all plumbed in, and I've built a couple of beds for them as well. They're, they're, they're just working on the last steel and sandstone beds as well, but I think we're actually going to be fine. So we've got uh, Zandi Stelza has a major infection. What are we looking like on that one? It is 58% and 80% immunity, so this guy's absolutely fine. He's going to get the next bed. Hercules, I thought we'd give to the first bed, because this is the sort of high-risk case. So he's got an infection in his left shoulder, which is major. 68% uh, currently, and 62% immunity. And then he's got an infection in his right arm as well, 65% infection spread and 20 sorry 62 percent immunity as well so i mean we might lose hercules but to be honest we're gonna get zandy so Ryan never had an infection in the first place same with latch and their treatments aren't aren't bad to say that obviously it was just random doctor treatment but the fact that they've got water now the ability to clean themselves they've got a working not really a toilet but latrine works you know just well we will upgrade that to a toilet one stage as well store door gives them privacy we might want to maybe put in another one as well because there's obviously quite a lot of people using one tiny little shitty latrine um literally so, it's not fantastic, but the fact they got lights in there as well, as long as we keep this room clean, I think we might be able to save all four, but I'm not going to count my chickens too much before they hatch here. Right, so let's get, who was it, was it Zandy I wanted to move over? So let's remove that, um, and then he should immediately take that bed, right? Yeah, because he's capable of walking. We'll finish off the sandstone bed, so we've got two out of steel, two out of sandstone there. Not ideal that we're wasting the steel on that, but hey, not, not a huge amount we can do either, unfortunately. Right, okay, cool. This is good. So we're immediately getting a treatment on Zandy there, I assume that's his infection. What are we tending now? Oh, not that it matters. I mean, any infections are... Oh, because it was capable of being tended right. Okay, that's fine. Building sandstone bed because of extreme break risk. Okay, Rick, take over on that one, please. And everybody now has themselves a bed to sleep in, too. Look at that. Oh, what a fantastic little prison. This is great, great progress today. Oh, it's too, it was too, it was too close. Yeah, 75% and the infection got to 78%. He was dead already. He was, he was pretty much gone anyway. The blood loss, the malnutrition, the bad hygiene. I mean, the bad hygiene obviously wouldn't kill him. But that was, that was unfortunate. I wasn't really expecting to save all of them anyway, like I said. But that's kind of nice. You know what? I'm pretty happy with this. Let's make sure this room is still clean though. So after she's finished feeding them meals, let's get this uh, quickly patched up. Get Hercules' body out here. We've got a spare bed now. So if we get any more prisoners, I guess that works in our favor. The real issue now is finding a way to feed all of these goddamn people because our meals are disappearing in no time whatsoever. I've butchered the balls as well. Oh, we just got potato harvest. Wait, where did those potatoes come from? Did someone have those in their inventory? Eight, oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Just as I was about to say, so let's do a farm expansion. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, so not only is this a problem in terms of uh, complete lack of food, but we've also now got uh, no heaters in the base at all. So... <laughs> okay, this could be this could be just premium death. Um, fine, fine. It's not it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. We'll, we'll put one of those in there. Put one of those in there. That's it. That's all we need. Okay, that's all we need. If they're cold, they can just sit in the fucking kitchen for a bit. Okay, not a problem at all. That's how I do it in real life. That's how America does it. This is how our guys are going to do it as well. Go and get yourself some. Go and get yourself some steel and components, whatever. Build up these heaters. We might even have to go out into the world a little bit more and find. I don't know, find some more components or, or some steel or something. So I feel like this is going to get pretty desperate. Huh? How many components have we got left? Oh, we still got bloody, we got piles of components. What am I talking about? How the hell have we ended up with so many? 66 after we built all of this garbage, all of this garbage too. Um, and we've got two calls already. I suppose we haven't really been using many at all now that I think about it. But hey, this will, this will hopefully keep us alive for a little bit. There you go, you guys now cannot complain whatsoever. And if you do, you're all going to die. You are all gonna die. I'm gonna forbid them going through the front door for a while until we've uh, until we've got this base sort of locked down a little bit. What I might also want to do is build an entrance into the prison that doesn't involve them going out outdoors, because that's just gonna let in so much cold air. It's it's completely unnecessary. Um, let's see. How am I gonna do this? What have we got? A lot. We got a bunch of sandstone blocks. That'll do it. Fuck it. Um, let's go structure. Let's go wall. Let's go sandstone blocks. 
First things first, then, we'll replace that door there. Um, hopefully, that will just uninstall the door, because that would be very nice. We'll build that there as well. Get, up, get to work on this immediately, because it's going to get very, very cold very quickly. Oh, there you go, all the crops. Goodbye. Maybe we could harvest some very, very quickly. I mean, they've, they've only just been available to harvest. That does suck a little bit. I should have done that just when... Second I saw that cold snap coming, I really should have just fucking harvested this shit. Oh, oh well, never mind. Um... Oh, we've got enough. We've got 500 potatoes. Is that going to be enough to last us through this cold, cold winter? Did I not tell you to just get on with it? <laughs> Did I not tell you to completely harvest this stuff and now you're just pissing around over there? Oh, I've built the heater instead. Oh, yeah, that's, that's immediately urgent. Thanks, pal. What's going on with this? Why is that? What's that potato now? No, no, no. That's supposed to be rice. What the hell? Okay. We're good. Um, am I, am I ambrosia plants gonna, plants gonna die as well? Are they, oh, they're from the drop pod event though, so in theory they should be fine. You know what, this is okay. We've bought in a little bit more stuff here, even though they they weren't, you know, fully ready to go. That's fine. Honestly, that, that's absolutely acceptable. Hey, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna force you guys to carry on working here, I'm sorry. Otherwise, our, our things are just all gonna die of the cold. No, no pressure, but we are all gonna starve to death immediately unless you do this. And to make things even better, along with our cold snap and our lack of uh, food entirely, I say that, but we've got 38 meals in storage, and then we've got like another thousand potatoes kicking around. We should be fine, at least to be able to last out this cold snap in particular. Raid, a group of outlanders from the Autonomous League of East Eolia have arrived nearby. Looks like the one of you sappers turn around our defences. What a fucking shocker. Ah, oh, the annoying thing is there are no zombies there anymore because that trade caravan came through not so long ago and cleared them all out. So she has a melee weapon and a shield. We've got, uh, oh, is it just two of them? Uh, oh, it's three of them. There's CT as well. Um, what are you like? You've got, uh, SMG. You've got a charge rifle. That's not very fun at all, is it? And you are digging at Slate Wall. You're gonna open my prison up. Are you serious? Okay, that's very fucking annoying. Um, Lin, 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 Lin. Get out here and kill her. Lin. Why is she digging there? I mean, that's fine. No. <gasps> no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! You fucker! Right, um, Rick, 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 Rick. What can we equip? What weapon have we got? Oh, I don't know that we have. Um, do we have any ammo for any of these fucking weapons? What about this charged shotgun? Nothing. Um, what's that other thing we we looted? There it is. Okay, go go and get that one. Go get the charged LMG. Fucking hell, this is bad because now all our prisoners are gonna piss off. You shit. Um, okay, 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 okay. Rick, Rick, work on the wall. Fuck it. Rick, work on the wall. Lynn, take him out. Oh my god, the prisoners are gonna- they, The prisoners are fucking gone. The prisoners are fucking gone. You stay there. You do not leave. You do not leave. Oh my god, this is a real ball ache. I can't believe this. I cannot believe that they would mine out my fucking walls like that. Okay, um, we've got power armor, so we should be fine, I think. Come on, take him down. Take him down. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Take that one down as well. Come on, Rick. That's it. Oh, they've gone. They went back indoors. They went back into the prison. What? <laughs> I've never seen that before. They had freedom and they turned around and they went straight back fucking into the prison. My God. Okay. Um, Lynn, you need to kill that man. Like, kill him, please. What's he doing? He's being weird. He's just standing around. Is he alright? Is he, like, having a mental break or something? What's he doing? What the fuck is he doing? I feel like this is bullying. Okay. Um, they've let our prison on fire, which I'm- Rick's gone to fucking bed. Rick just went to bed, rather than try and deal with this shit. Are you, are you kidding me, Rick? And they're just- uh, piss off. Come on, you know you've lost. Get out of here. Go and put that prison out. Uh, prison fire. Prison fire. Get out of it. Right, okay. Capture. Rescue. Capture. Okay, start- start attending to them. Patch them up. Oh my god. Why did they go back to prison? That's unbelievable. Right, pick that up as well. Let's pick those up. Um, they've got concussion shells in there. Oh, maybe that's something to do with it? I don't know. Um, okay, we can't carry anything else. Uh, let me in. Maybe maybe not uninstalling that one would be a, would be a fantastic planner. Right, let's go for that one. Um, uninstall that and let's, let's haul some of this stuff and just drop it indoors for a second. Unbelievable. That was the weirdest fucking prison break slash raid I've ever seen in my whole life. Get that dropped. Let's go and pick up that SMG. Bring it back through. Oh, she hasn't got much room in her inventory, unfortunately, so this is going to be kind of a ball ache to do. My god, we've got more guns. We've got more ammo as well. Honestly, with this and all that power armor we found, when it eventually gets down to... I mean, just let it go. Just let it go. You know what? Leave the door open. Let it go. Honestly, get out of here. Right, pick that up. Let's get the medicine as well. That's actually quite nice. Um, oh, yeah, that's banned. Uh, go and... Sorry? What's she doing? Watch him for time. Yeah, pick it up, though. I can't pick it up. Oh, inventory's full. Fine. Okay, fair enough. Sorry, I thought that was something to do with the area then for a second. Okay, there we go. I think everything is back to the usual. Thank you for watching. What the hell happened there, huh?
That was the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen in Rimworld. The fact that the prisoners went back into the prison after seeing, getting a sense of freedom. To be fair, if you walked out of a prison, the first thing you saw was a bunch of zombies, a giant dead beetle, three very angry boys, and it was also minus four. I'd probably fuck off back to the prison as well, to be honest with you. Honestly, don't blame them. Good work, prisoners. Nice one. Let's give a shout out to Alpha Scuff, Anthony Golly, Asuna Kirito, Matt Moses, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Baniel, Sedini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Fakuna Vasquez, Flothanutter, Gogolus. Ghost of Protocol, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindine Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kaden Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nabuskus 911, Nathan Flores, Necrophil, and Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis the Manus, Shaxx and Class, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backers, William Green, and Zazzy7011. Thank you for your support and the insanity lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making YouTube possible in 2019. Hope you guys are enjoying a bit of Rimworld. Check out all these mods if you're enjoying. Go give a thumbs up to all the mods on the Steam Workshop if you enjoy them. And, uh, appreciate your time thank you thank you for being here thank you for being on this journey because that was the weirdest thing i've ever goddamn seen in my life and a thank you of course has to go out to asro and in person aiden w andrew wilson attila austin taylor bordoom ben trope betsman's max better valerian black double h chris david van diepen don don connie seven easy to pronounce name emerald beam exploding knees fraser brennan gabriel van Ders, gaz genji zerka gompo gray hajidamar henrik stensgaard icarus ice of the gray irish israel isaac Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Laurent Philippe, Roy Lemaire, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panthpell, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Dennisart, Rosh Nelgar, Billionaire, Smirtworm, Socrates, <laughs> fucking Super Socrates gets me every single time, Super Nanny 089, Talar, The Bloody Knight, Valonkri, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Wal Wade, Wilson Natef, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico 2. Thank you to you guys. Big shout out. Thank you for your support. See you guys all tomorrow for, I mean, f recruiting about five different boys, I guess.